Hello, this is my review of the 2015 F-150 XLT Sport with the 2.7 EcoBoost engine. I've had this vehicle for a year today, as a matter of fact. Today is my one year anniversary with the truck and, and the one year that I've had this vehicle, I've put 22,000 miles on it. We have uh, done trips all the way to California, Las Vegas, uh, Austin, San Antonio, Dallas, and uh, I do an average of anywhere from three to 350 miles uh, of city driving. So it's pretty combined, uh, the type of driving that I do on this vehicle. I haven't really had any issues um, with the truck. As you can see, I went ahead and put the a tonneau cover, uh, stickers. I have always liked stickers. Uh, yes, they do make it faster, just joking. Uh, this truck came with the plastic lining from Ford um, and uh, it's, it's, it's pretty good. I've, as you can see, it is, I do use it uh, as a truck and uh, we've moved refrigerators, uh, brought stuff from one office to another, uh, just carried quite a bit of things um, if it didn't have the cover it would probably be a lot more uh, scratched um, we went and got a refrigerator from uh, Lowe's or Home Depot I can't remember which one and the guy with the dolly uh, dropped it pretty hard and I keep seeing those commercials from uh, Chevrolet where it says that if you drop the uh, the cinder blocks that it's gonna destroy your your box well good thing I have this cover but even if that were the case uh, so the guy dropped the refrigerator pretty hard uh, on the on the bed and the suspension took it pretty awesomely and the only thing that it did to it was that dent right so you can see right there but you know uh, it is a truck, that's what they're there for, and that's no big deal to me. Um, this vehicle, it has the remote start. Um, yes, I don't mind that you see that uh, my license plates, I don't understand why people cover them, but anyway. Um, I've had the rotation, I've had it for 22,000 miles now, or just about 22,000 miles, right underneath 22,000. I've done the tire rotation every 5,000 miles according to the service uh, schedule and as you can see I still have um, pretty good uh, life left on the tires um, just really happy with this vehicle um, I've always been a Ford guy but I've had uh, other other brands and uh, I've looked around not too long ago for a possibility of exchanging to another vehicle of trading her in but Again, you know, we go back to uh, the amount of miles that I, that I put per, per year and I just, just really happy with this vehicle. Um, my wife has a 2013 uh, with a 3.5 EcoBoost. This is the 2.7 EcoBoost. Hers is the four door and I just find this to be more, uh, I just find it to be sportier. And then on top of that, the truck uh, with the cabin I have, the extended, the super cab, what Ford calls it, I just feel that it offers uh, a lots of flexibility. Uh, rarely you have five people in the vehicle and uh, I am able to have the full size bed uh, with the same capabilities. But I have with the remote start and uh, I just absolutely love the remote start. Uh, that's it. And I know a lot of people, you know, I do like to warm up my vehicle a little bit in the mornings, you know, a minute or two, um, let the, the engine uh, catch the fluids, you know, and not put a lot of strain, especially during during the cold months. Uh, but again, you know, it's not as clean as I, I, I like to keep her, but um, it's it just offers a lot of flexibility. Uh, I like the fact that these doors right here can be moved all the way back. Uh, you'd be surprised uh, how handy it comes. Um, it has regular wear and tear for 22,000 miles. Yes, it's a little dusty, 
Uh, I do like to clean my truck every every week, week and a half. Uh, you know, it's here in the Texas Southwest, you know, it gets dusty and windy at times. So um, this also offers a lot of flexibility. When you do that, you're able to uh, easily put boxes in here. Uh, and it just offers a ton of flexibility. Um, it's very comfortable. This truck, it was the MSRP was right about $42,000 and it was a 15 model. I bought it a year ago in 2016. So it did come with some very, very neat uh, discounts. And out the door, the truck was $32,000. So uh, for what it is, it's an XLT with um, the sports package and it's got um, uh, the running boards and uh, inside you have the the touch screen so it's just a, um, a really neat package um, as you can see uh, it offers plenty of space you can sit an adult right there and that's not gonna be a problem and they are gonna sit very comfortably yes if it's for a very long trip or is a large adult he or she may not be too comfortable but uh, I do like the fact that it has the outlets in the back my kids when they get back here they either have um, the 400 watt AC outlet or just your regular uh, cigarette lighter type of outlet so uh, that's proven really cool you know when I'm with the drone or with the cameras or on my long trips I'm able to charge my tablet my phone and uh, not having to buy extra adapter so that's really neat so yeah for I think that for thirty-two thousand um, dollars, trucks do hold their value better. Uh, Ford trucks tend to hold their value actually pretty good. Uh, I know that the leader on that is probably going to be Toyota, but that is just a really boring truck. Um, I'm putting the keys in because otherwise, I have it programmed so that at five minutes, it would go ahead and turn off. So yes, I do have the my Ford Touch with the Microsoft Sync. I do have a. The model uh, the system before the newest uh, update so I do have the old model I I keep hearing people having complaints or concerns about it it's always worked flawless flawlessly with me I had it in my Mustang I had it in my uh, Focus ST and it's never giving me any problems uh, right there it says connecting phone but I don't have it connected to my phone and as you just saw on the screen, it just it went away. Um, it comes with the XM. It has the the Twitters, and I mean for for stock sound, it's pretty darn decent. Um, I, I you know you just you just really can't complain about what the truck can or cannot do. Um, I recently looked around into a Toyota Tacoma. I do like the Tacomas; they're pretty nice trucks and. Um, no, it was not what I wanted. So, as you can see, this is part of what really surprises me. This 2.7 engine EcoBoost, it is just amazing. Um, surprised at how good this engine is, how reliable, how efficient, how quiet it is. And yet, when I need to punch it, uh, you have the select shift so you can go one or the other you have for towing you have sport when you put towing it'll tell you uh, that if you're towing uh, or if you're in sport and the way that the engine mapping changes in sport it just keeps it right at the rpms where it needs to be it keeps it at that sweet spot where it needs to be and it is fast um, I wish it had the software that the Mustang has where you can time your zero to 60, but uh, from different publications and from when I've actually pushed the truck, uh, I, I would say it's about six to six and a half seconds, zero to 60, which for a full size truck, it's really not bad at all. Um, the mileage, the MPGs right now, it's a little higher than usual, uh, but for the first 20,000 miles, as you can see, it's got 21,681. I just rounded it up to 22,000. Uh, but for the first 20,000 miles, it gave me an average of 20.1. Uh, 
I like to reset it every 5,000 miles on the trip too. This is from the last time that I did the service. Uh, as you can see in 770 miles, none of which have been um, highway miles. So this 760 has been nothing but combined city driving and it's given me an average of 21 miles per gallon. Uh, again, just very impressive, uh, just, just a pretty good engine, you know, and I was looking at the 2018s and they're going to have the second generation 2.7 EcoBoost and uh, it's just really, really cool. Um, I do drive uh, normal. I don't fall behind. I'm not a speeder. I would say I, I drive normal, you know, I, I keep up with traffic. Uh, so that would be a pretty average uh, way of driving. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that if I pushed it at every single stoplight, my MPG would be lower. Similarly, if I drove like uh, Granny Jones, you know, it'd probably be higher. But um, it's got all kinds of sensors. It's giving me the tire pressures, um, just the percent of oil, oil life, uh, engine hours, engine hours at idle, um, my keys, uh, which I haven't programmed, I don't have any use to it, uh, distance to empty, the transmission temperature, a lot of things that you already have on the top of um, the dashboard. But again, just 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 a great, great engine, just very, very surprised. Uh, I got my, my towing apps and uh, off-road capabilities. This is not a four by four, this is a two by four. And um, I like my truck. Uh, for truck uses and, and I really really like what it does um, I'll go ahead and uh, Show you the engine bay uh, The size of the engine actually it's again. It's a 2.7 liter uh, six-cylinder EcoBoost and it's just a, a Just a great great engine again Sorry about that. I just cannot specify how, how good this engine is, you know. Uh, funny thing, sometimes, you know, I've been around diesels for a while and I see, I hear some diesel trucks. It kind of does have that uh, ticking uh, diesel sound, but um, I've never watched the engine. Uh, as you can see, I use it for what it is. There are no modifications. It has, as a matter of fact, it has the, the stock air filter. Uh, according to the maintenance schedule is every 30,000 miles, which is pretty surprising. Um, I'll be honest with you, I would probably do an interval of every 15,000. I think that's pretty decent, but uh, Ford says 30,000, which is pretty surprising. Uh, again, just, just a very quiet, very good engine. Um, the AC runs incredibly cold. Uh, the heater uh, is just really, really good. Um, I just can't have, I just can't have enough words to, to describe how happy I am with this vehicle. Um, you know, I'm going to upload this to my Facebook and YouTube and, uh, if you're already a subscriber, I don't have that many subscribers, but I like to do real life reviews. I like to do reviews that truly do impact, uh, people in everyday life. Um, and, um, you know, just, just an honest review. It's not a perfect vehicle. Um, it does have the space in the back more space in here a bunch of keys um uh yes i do like cars <laughs> my dice but they were a little too too large and it, it was taken away from my visibility um right here you have another compartment and that's i have hand lotion and hand sanitizer and it's got the my uh, my usb which is where I, I listen to a lot of my 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 music uh so feel free to you know let me know if you have any questions again just a wonderful vehicle uh sounds pretty decent for what it is you know it's a stock sound i haven't uh, changed anything on the speakers um you know and because of the amount of miles that i put sometimes i just say to myself well you might as well just that uh, you know just just keep it the way it is but um i do plan on keeping this vehicle for the long haul so that's the reason why i even have this little cover right here but um Hope you enjoy the review again let me know if you have any questions and i'll be very honest about it it's not a perfect vehicle but it is by far uh, the best vehicle i've had and it's just a, a great great truck hope you enjoy the review and share have a good one take care bye, -bye.